हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सजाद एंड यू आर वाचिंग फार्मा इन फॉर्म टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द एयर लॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज एयर लॉक पर्पस ऑफ एयर लॉक्स टाइप्स ऑफ एयर लॉक्स एंड व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एयर लॉक्स वी विल डिस्कस विद प्रैक्टिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एयर लॉक्स वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस व्हाट इज सिंक एयर लॉक what is bubble air lock and what is cascade air locks before going into details of air locks first of all you must be familiar with the working in pharmaceutical industries as you know that we have different grades or different clean rooms in pharmaceutical industries like grade a grade b grade c and grade d each grade or each clean room has its own classification its own level of cleanliness and we must have to protect one clean room from the other clean room so to protect one clean room from other clean room like as we know that clean room a or grade a is the cleanest area in pharmaceutical industries and grade d is the least clean area in pharmaceutical industries so if we have to protect grade a we must establish some buffers or air locks from d to a mean if we enter from grade to grade d to grade c we must have an air lock and if we enter from grade c to grade b we must have air lock and if we enter from grade in the same way if we enter from one manufacturing area to other manufacturing area like if we are manufacturing different products in oral solid dosage forms like one product is manufactured in granulation a and other is manufactured in granulation b and though both these granulation areas are adjacent so we must have an air lock between these two granulation areas to prevent cross contamination so if you are not familiar with the clean rooms in pharmaceutical industries the link is given in description first watch that video and then watch this one so let's start air lock what is a, what is a air lock as we discussed earlier air lock is used to protect or maintain cleaning level of different clean rooms and it is also used to prevent cross contamination so as the name indicates air locks mean lock of air in simple words a uh, air pressure is built in a room between different grades to prevent cross contamination from one area to an other area as name indicates locking system by using air pressure which we develop is known as air lock air lock is used to prevent clean rooms from contamination during man and material flow mean if we are moving our material from outside to our grade a or from grade outside to grade d or c we must have some air locks and these air locks are built by maintaining a specific differential pressure this differential pressure helps to prevent movements of particles from one area to an other area what is the principle of air locks air locks work on a simple principle of air movements as we know that air moves from positive or high pressure to the lower pressure so by using this concept we build different types of air locks by controlling the air pressure so the difference the differential pressure which according to who we must maintain between two adjacent areas by using air lock is 10 to 15 pascal mean if we want if we build an air lock between granulation a and corridor we must have differential pressure of 10 to 15 pascal this is the minimum requirement if we want to increase the differential pressure 
वी विल हैव टू नीड मोर इनर्जी एंड इट विल इंक्रीज आवर कॉस्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम डिफरेंशियल ब्रेशर एज यू नो डैट इज बेसिकली क्रिएटेड एंड डिवेल्प बाय द एच वी एस सी इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद एच वी एस सी द लिंक ऑफ अवर एच वी एस सी सीरीज इज गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच दो वीडियोज सो वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एयर लॉक वाई वी नीड एयर लॉक द पर्पज ऑफ एयर लॉक इज टू मेन पर्पज इज टू प्रिवेंट क्रॉस कंटेमिनेशन देन एयर लॉक्स आर बिल्ड टू क्रिएट डिफरेंट clean rooms and it is also used to maintain cleaning level of a specific clean room in case of sterile areas air locks help to prevent movement of air borne particles from less clean areas to higher clean areas in the same way air locks help to prevent microbial particle microbial organism movements from less clean area to higher clean areas and if we talk about oral solid dosage form these air locks help to prevent outflow of powders from manufacturing area mean if we are manufacturing a granulation process of or if we are conducting a granulation process the powder should not come out from the primary manufacturing area and how this movement of powder is controlled this one is controlled by establishing a air lock system common practice basically in most of pharmaceutical industries a single entry room or a single air lock system is used for main flow and material flow which one is the wrong practice we must have a separate entry for the personals and we also have a separate entry for the material flow for example if we want to supply a dispensing material from ramdeer store to the granulation area the passage for the material must be from a separate interlocking system sorry from a se separate air lock system and the passage of personal to the area must from must be from separate air lock system the on the basis of main and material flow the air locks are basically divided into two types one is known as pal pal personal air lock system and other one is known as mal material air lock system so now we are going to discuss what is the design of air lock basically air lock design is very simple it is a simple room built between one area and 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 an other area or between one area and corridor it has two or more rooms usually it has two rooms sorry it has two or more doors usually it has two doors one door open one door must be open at a time and when one door is closed other door should not be opened because if we open both door simultaneously the contamination will flow from outside to the inside so so we have a simple design of air lock system the doors of air lock system must be open towards that area which have higher pressure this higher pressure will push door back to close it easily so hope you are now familiar with what is air lock what is the purpose of air lock what is the design of air lock and why we need air lock now we are going to discuss types of air lock it is a very important types one is bubble air lock second one is sink air lock and third one is cascade now what is bubble air lock in bubble air lock if we are going to take example of one primary manufacturing area then there is a air lock and it is our corridor so if we have built a 
एयर लॉक सिस्टम बिटवीन आवर प्राइमरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया एंड आवर कॉरिडोर सो इन केस ऑफ बबल एयर लॉक वी हैव हायर प्रेशर इन द एयर लॉक एंड लोअर प्रेशर इन द एडजेंट एरियाज मीन हायर प्रेशर विल बी इन द एयर लॉक इन द कॉरिडोर आवर प्रेशर विल बी लो एंड इन द प्राइमरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया आवर प्रेशर विल बी लो सो एयर विल मूव फ्रॉम हायर प्रेशर टू लोअर प्रेशर मीन एयर लॉक टू प्राइमरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया एंड एयर लॉक टू द कॉरिडोर वी कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल सो इफ वी हैव ट्वेंटी पासकल प्रेशर हेयर टेन प्रेश टेन पासकल हेयर एंड टेन पासकल हेयर एयर विल मूव फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू टेन एंड ट्वेंटी टू टेन सो इट विल प्रिवेंट क्रॉस कंटेमिनेशन मीन वेन वी विल ओपन द डोर ऑफ प्राइमरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया आवर एयर विल फ्लो फ्रॉम एयर लॉक टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया सो आउटसाइड डस्टी मटेरियल विल नॉट कम आउट इन द सेम वे वेन वी विल कम आउट फ्रॉम एयर लॉक टू द कॉरिडोर अगेन एयर विल फ्लो फ्रॉम एयर लॉक टू द कॉरिडोर एंड आवर कंटेमिनेशन फ्रॉम प्राइमरी एरिया विल नॉट कम आउटसाइड दिस वन इज कार्ड बबल एयर लॉक बिकॉज इट पुश एयर टू द बोथ साइड्स मीन फ्रॉम एयर लॉक इट एयर इट पुश इज एयर टू वर्ड्स द कॉरिडोर एंड इट आल्सो पुश इज एयर टू इन साइड द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया सो दिस वन इज नोन एज बबल एयर लॉक वट इज सिंक एयर लॉक इन सिंक एयर लॉक वी हैव लो प्रेशर इन द एयर लॉक एंड हायर प्रेशर इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एरिया एंड हायर प्रेशर इन द कॉरिडोर so in this case as you can easily see from the direction of aero arrows air from manufacturing area comes into the air lock and air from the corridor also come into the interlock or sorry air lock so when we open the door of manufacturing area our air comes into the air lock and when we air open the door of air lock and come into corridor air from corridor come into the air lock so in this way cross contamination is prevented because in the, in both these cases air from both areas is coming towards the air lock so this system is known as sink the third one is cascade in cascade air lock system we have ascending order of differential pressure or we have created descending order of प्रेशर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन मैनुफैक्चरिंग एरिया वी हैव हायर प्रेशर इन एयर लॉक वी हैव लेस प्रेशर एंड इन कॉरिडोर वी हैव मोर लेस प्रेशर सो एयर विल मूव फ्रॉम थर्टी पासकल टू ट्वेंटी पासकल एंड ट्वेंटी पासकल टू टेन पासकल मीन इफ वी ओपन द डोर ऑफ मैनुफैक्चरिंग एरिया एयर विल कम फ्रॉम मैनुफैक्चरिंग एरिया टू एयर लॉक एंड वेन वी ओपन द डोर ऑफ एयर लॉक the air will come from air lock to the corridor if we take the example of if you if you consider it descending and it consider it ascending order so in ascending order air will come from corridor to air lock and air lock to the manufacturing area in this case our corridor will be cleaned corridor mean our corridor will be classified and it will not disturb the class of our primary manufacturing area hope you are familiar with the these three types for a brief repeat in bubble air lock simply air moves from air lock to manufacturing area and air lock to the corridor in the sink air lock system air moves from primary manufacturing area to air lock and corridor to the air lock and in the cascade if we have ascending order air moves from 30 20 and 10 sorry if you take from corridor to inside it will be descending and if you take from corridor to manufacturing it will be the ascending so in this way any one of these mentioned air lock is used to prevent cross contamination in pharmaceutical industries 
if we take an practical example if we want to prevent cross contamination area in a pharmaceutical industry in the oral solid dosage form manufacturing area we are manufacturing different products in granulation area and manufacturing different products in compression area so if we take about example of granulation area we create negative pressure in granulation area then create higher pressure or positive pressure in the air lock system and again create less pressure or negative pressure in the corridor this one will be basically example of bubble air lock in this case our powder or dust which is generated in the granulation area in the primary manufacturing area will not come into the air lock and it will also be prevented from coming air lock to the corridor because our air lock is positive or it has higher pressure so air will always move from air lock to the granulation area whenever we will open the door of granulation area our clean air from air lock will move inside so it will prevent outflow of powders to the air lock system commonly asked question or what is the exact procedure to enter into the primary manufacturing area is that first of all open the door of air lock then enter inside close the door which you opened and when door is closed then open the next door do not open both doors simultaneously because it will results in cross contamination most commonly asked questions are which type of pressure is maintained or built inside the granulation area or inside the steroid area so as we discussed earlier in ost we have lost of lot of dust or powders generations so we always maintain negative pressure inside our primary manufacturing area and we build higher pressure into the air lock so always air moves from air lock to the primary manufacturing area or granulation area or compression area or coating area or encapsulation area so in case of steroid areas as you know that steroid area we have highly clean class which is known as grade a so whenever we move into grade a our air must be come outside from primary manufacturing area to the air lock so we build positive pressure or higher pressure into the manufacturing area of steroid section and we create less pressure into the air lock so air comes from steroid area like grade a into the air lock and in this way we prevent our clean rooms from contamination or from the microbial flow or less clean air flow to the higher clean area like grade a hope you are easily familiar with the air lock system if you have any confusion you can ask in the comments and if you like the video share it to others and subscribe our channel for the next video allah hafiz